so next topic we are discussing the software implementation techniques so software implementation techniques it is a coding part so the main goal of the software implementation techniques it is used to, to design the coding for the implementation the presentation of software product so what are the objectives of the software implementation techniques for the programs are developed in the coding and it should be readable format for the user they should be executed efficiently and successfully and next one it will be utilize the less amount of memory once the software is developed after that it will not taking so much memory space so automatically it will be reduced the memory space if it is reduced the usage of memory is reduced automatically the cost of the memory and cost of the product development can be reduced and also it should be a implementation part of the simple and the, the program should not having a lengthy one if the program is lengthy we have to convert into n number of modules automatically the program total number of program execution representation is also reduced so next one coding practices so what are the representation we are having to practice for writing a coding first one control construct so what is the meaning of control construct normally we are having a control statements in each and every programming language so in this we have a control construct or control statement we are having a two types one is conditional statements another one is unconditional statements so what is the meaning of conditional statements if you are uh, having any condition we have to check that condition so according to the condition if it is right we are having a set of statement to execute if it is false at that time also we are having separate set of coding it should be executed so that is a conditional statements in this area we are having a coding part so what are the conditional statements uh, we are having a two methods one is decision making another one is looping so decision in decision making we are having a if condition switch condition in con looping statement we are having a for while and do while statements so next one is unconditional statements so in this unconditional statements there is no condition for executing the set of statements simply we are having a some control uh, switch over from one place to another place by using without any condition so what are the examples for unconditional statements break continue and go to so in this first one what is the usage of go to so it used avoid i mean avoid to use a go to statements because it's unconditionally it will be moving to one place to another place so next one information hiding so if you are writing the coding automatically we can't identify what purpose we are implementing the coding so only the programmer can identify the information what which purpose or what purpose we are developing the functions so it may be a visible it may be visible part but we can't identify the information what we are giving to the particular coding so this is called information hiding the next one is nesting so what is the meaning of nesting so if you are having one structure we are including another structure inside the structure so it is a nested statements so we are having a condition that is if nested if likewise we are having each and every control statements can be nested one by one next one user defined data types so what is meaning of user defined data types normally we are having a predefined data types and user defined data types predefined data types the data type which is having a predefined one so that memory also predefined the size of the representation is also predefined but user defined data type so what type of requirement we are having at that time we can develop the data type for the data representation so in this representation we are using a structure we are using a type def so enumerated data types is also representing user defined data types so it will be used for enhance the readability of the code so next one is modular size so i already told if you are having a lengthy program we are converting the lengthy program into smaller parts with the help of module so that size of the module will not have take a more than one page and module interface means the function we are having a module or function we are having three representation one is function declaration function definition and function calling so function directly function declaration is a basic part 
function definition is giving identification or giving a definition for the function so function call is a main thing it is used to do calling the function where it is after completing the function automatically we will be moving to the previous uh, representation of your function where it is started so from module interface we can connect the, all the modules without having any deviation then only we can get the correct result so next one is side effects so what is the meaning of side effects if some part of the code is changed randomly then it will be causing the side effect robustness is having something even though some unexpectional condition will be occur that is called robustness and the next one is uh, switch case with default so each and every switch case we are having n number of cases so after completing n number of cases if you are having nothing in that case automatically we are representing the default so in switch case condition each and every cases which have a set of statement with the break statement and also default also having a break statement so what is the use of break break statement is used for terminate the current loop and also continue statement used for representing the current it will be going with the starting st stage of your control statements or called starting stage of your uh, function the next one empty catch block so in this empty catch block we will used for representing your exceptions so what is the meaning of exceptions if you are identifying any errors or any bugs previously in the system for example we are having a division of two numbers in this number i can give uh, the condition is c equal to a divided by b so the b value should not having a zero because b value is zero means automatically we can get the output is infinity but in our computer system we are not representing the infinity representation so at that time uh, the b value should not be as zero so in that representation we are using the exception conditions so in this exception conditions we are identifying the errors in try block after identifying the error in the try block automatically that error will be thrown to the catch block so the catch block will provide the suitable exception or suitable coding for the try block problem empty if and while statement so it will be empty while and the while statement it does not having any condition automatically it will not having any conditions mean automatically it will be execute again and again so that is a empty if and while statement and the next one check for read or return so if uh, each and every time we are declaring the function with the help of return type so if the return type is void the function should not return any value otherwise the each and uh, every function will return me some value to the next operation return final block no? means uh, it will be having a each and every process having a main function so in this main function it will be returning some value once the data type is declared otherwise the value will not return the value so the trusted next one trusted data source so it will be representing the data representation for the input and correlated parameters it provide it check the correlation before the performing any operation on those data the next one exception handling i already told the exception is used for identifying your error and also the code will be executed in the playable manner it will be checking the code for execution so next one coding standard any good software development approach suggest ad hoc to, uh, to some well defined standard or uh, rules for coding so some uh, software implementation techniques are naming the conversion so each and every a uh, product or each and every representation will have a one package name or variable name so it should be a user defined so we can have a user defined representation we are having alphabet number but special character will not be implemented in the name of your uh, function so next one is files so we, once we are developing the software automatically it will be saving in the system with the help of file extension name for example c program will implemented i mean writered and uh, it should be stored in our computer system with the help of dot c representation c++ programming language will start save the program with the help of dot cpp java is saving dot java likewise files having a some extension so each and every extension should identify which type of uh, program you are writing inside the computer system then 
next one is commenting and layout so commenting is it, it will not executed by the compiler so commenting is only identifying the customer what we are having in the program so we are representing the command statement in the layout representation the next one is so in this uh, representation command the single line command will having a double slash and double more than one lines we are giving a uh, commands in the form of slash star the set of statement and finally star slash like this we are having a multiple line commands so in this coding representation statement so each and every line should be represented as a statement so that statement will be ended with a semicolon so likewise we are having a coding representation for developing our software so in this representation how the software will be developed based on the design representation so finally first of all we are getting the requirement and the requirement will be converted into a design so after getting the design representation by using the design representation we are implemented with the help of any programming language so in this programming language we are writing the coding for a particular product development that is representing as a software implementation techniques thank you